And for our iPages magazine, we're sitting here with Vakim Dilo. Alright, so we want to begin with who invented the bop and when was the D-Lo Shuffle born? Um, who invented the bop? I want to say um, me me and Kimo, we, we invented the bop. And D-Lo Shuffle was born, I want to say, like December 5th, 5th, 6th. It's the birthday, the official birthday. birthday. Yeah, December 5th, right? Yeah, December 5th. Well, how did it come about exactly? I mean... I was sitting, I was sitting at home, and I was just thinking about different things to do. And you know where we from is just so, so much negativity. Mm -hmm. So many people down us because of the killing rate and all that. I just wanted to get them something else to look at, some positive, some fun, some energetic. So I mean, I just made the dance and put it out there. I just prayed that they give us a different look, you know? Yeah. And so it grew and it spread with the help of you and chemo. Mm -hmm. So. People are hearing, oh, you're going to interview D-Lo. you got to find out what's going on. Are him and Kimo beefing? You know, that's kind of a rumor that's starting to get spread around. So put an end to it. All the rumors, clear things up. What's really going on? Um, now, me and Kimo, we're we not beefing. I mean, that's my brother. I always going to be my brother regardless to any situation. You know, it's just certain occasions come where we don't see eye to eye. So we, we, we tend to space ourselves from each other. But, you know, there's just like a relationship. You know, when you and your boyfriend get mad at each other, y'all don't talk. Then y'all come back together, make up, and y'all do what y'all got to do. That's just what it is with us. I mean, we're going to be brothers for life. Uh -huh. So, I mean, I got his back. He got my back. I mean, that's that's what it is. No beef. Yeah. Good. So, for everybody out there, that's one of you guys. No beef between the Bob Kings. All right. So, this bopping movement has become a part of Chicago culture. It's... Mm -hmm. You know, as soon as the songs come on, they know what to do. Everybody's bopping to the right, bopping to the left. So how does it feel when you're watching the Bulls game and you hear your song playing, you know, during the game? I mean, it's, it's a blessing. Mm. It's just, just to see the mass of people that, that is touching. That's to see the reaction you get back from people. That's to see how, how the kids and grandmas and and mothers and fathers react to it. I mean, it's, 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 it's overwhelming. But at the end of the day, it's, it's just a blessing. I'm grateful. That's nice. So speaking of your audience, most of the time when I'm seeing the bopping, um, <clears throat> and even at a party, of course, it'll go up among the young people. But really, it's the younger kids that, you know, tend to take to it. So is that necessarily your target audience? Or, you know, what is necessarily the goal of the d movement? I mean, I really don't have a target. Mm -hmm. um, what I do, I produce for everybody. Young, old. I mean, everybody. I want everybody to, to be a part of this. I want this to touch everybody. I mean, the kids, it touch the kids because, you know, it's, it's, it's what they do. Energy. You know, it's, it's, it's for them. Mm -hmm. it's, of what it is, but uh, I do it for everybody, though. Especially the old people. I love old people. <laughs> <laughs> old people are so beautiful. That's awesome. Okay, so that being said, I'm trying to figure out how, with the negative stigma being attached to Chicago, you know, everybody's focused on the negative, how you manage to stay so positive and, you know, reach out to the kids and, you know, be a role model, somebody that people can look up to and say, hey, he's doing something that doesn't necessarily have to be about killing somebody dead in the street. It doesn't have to be about selling drugs. It doesn't have to be about naked women. You know, things like that. So how do you manage to stay so positive with all the negativity out here? I mean, for those who don't know, DLO, DLO stands for Determined, Loyal, Optimistic, and Willing to Learn. Determined because anything you do, you got to give it your all. You got to want it to work in order for it to work. Lawyer, you just just sticking to it, just just giving your all to that one thing, and, and fighting for it. Optimistic, just there's more so having fun, being enthusiastic with it, you know, just having a love, love life with it. And well, to learn, just learning everything about it so you can perfect it. I mean, I feel like that's the key to the whole to anything that I do. 
But those steps, those steps help me grow and it helps me just be so be so positive. Because a lot of negative stuff happened in Chicago. That's because people don't know how to handle it sometimes. You know, they tend to just follow that trend. Like, it's crazy. Right. But what I want people to understand, like, life is bigger than what it is now. Now is just now. People got to start living for the future and just 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 having fun. Just stop being so down and want to hurt people. Just come together as a unit and, and show show what it is. Show show life is is precious. That's so nice. Yeah, that's beautiful. Good for you. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you this: is the bopping thing is kind of seem to be as a West Side thing. Hmm. Are you from the West Side? Yeah. Where? I'm from um, L Town. Maybe Chicago, I've been. Okay, yes. I don't be over east. I mean, over <laughs> west. But I'm going to have to make my way out there because that's where it originated yeah, from. Yeah, that's what I'm at. You're about fiestas. Yeah. Right, the Fifi on the block. Now, what, like 200, 300 kids every day just coming to bop with us. Huh. Turned up every day. So fun. That's fun. All right, so tell me about whatever projects that you're working on currently. Um. Well, I do got. I do got a dance. I'm, I'm, I'm coming out with something new. It's called D-Lo Bop Challenge. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> some, some, some real fun. Okay. Um, I do got an album. I'm a producer. It's called The Unexpected Statement. Okay. The reason for that name is because unexpected nobody. Nobody's going to expect it from me. They know me as their dancer, but it's the D-Lo <laughs> Shuffle. And the statement, because once it drops, once it hit them, they gonna understand me. Okay. They gonna feel me. Okay. Um, got a couple of tours. I'm, I'm, I'm working on. I am D-Lo tour. Come to the city and stay near you. So be tuned in. <laughs> I mean, just just stay focused and making a way for my city, Chicago. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So you're also taking your talents to the acting side of things, okay. the reawakening. So, what can we expect from your role? What are we gonna see from you? Um, I played the um, character's name Lil D. Okay. He he D Lo though, you know. Mm-hmm. Still be dancing and you know doing all that, but it's 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 gonna be real fun. Just another another. How can I put it? It's something else to grasp the attention of the younger kids. Just to set examples of life, you know. It's just taking stuff that happens on a daily basis, put it in acting, just to show you how you should approach it if you approach it the wrong way, you know? Mm-hmm. So that, that's all it is. It's, it's going to be good. It's going to be good fun. Okay. And another big thing on the rise is America's Got Talent. Mm-hmm. Got a phone call. Mm-hmm. And so what do you hope to show the world? Of course, I know that you are all about the positivity. You're all about inspiring people and uplifting and all that stuff. So when we're watching you during your time on the show, what can we really expect? You can expect a lot of energy from me and my dancers. It's going to be like a story. You're going to be able to feel like where we came from. This is this coming from nothing to now being watched by thousands, maybe mm-hmm. even millions of people. I mean... Y'all gonna be able to see and feel it. The, the energy and the, the fun and excitement. It's gonna be so much love. It's just it's gonna be wonderful. I'm ready. That's I'm, exciting. Yeah, I'm so ready. You got the call in. Um we got the call. When did we get the call? I wanna say two months ago. Okay. Yeah. So now you're ready to work? Yeah, of course. I'm always ready to work. Of course. And so now you're about to catch a few flights going to L.A., San Diego area mm-hmm. for at least two weeks. Yeah. And the d movement is moving. Yeah. So what are our plans during our trip to I mean, L.A.? Basically just network. Just find different areas um, to push the whole d whole d movement. Just to make it bigger than what it is. I mean, it's pretty big, but it's always can get bigger. You know? mm-hmm. Just trying to make it as big as, as possible. That's it. Networking. Uh-huh. Sounds good. So it's a new year, and I know you've got plenty of resolutions and goals and aspirations that you're looking to achieve, accomplish, and reach. 
So tell me, where do you see yourself by the end of 2015? By the end of 2015, just a couple of things I want to have accomplished. One, I want to turn my city from Chirac back to Chicago. That's one of my goals. Another one of my goals, I want to um, I want to start helping with um, boys and girls clubs and shelters and things like that to to better our environments. Um, I, of course, I want the Dino movement to be at its greatest. Okay. Um, and I just I just want to see more love and unity from the people that I'm around. I want to be able to help them help them reach a point in their life where they can be at the happiest point they ever been, you know? I think those are my biggest goals. That sounds like something I could see you definitely getting done over the course of this year. Yeah, definitely. Well, it's very refreshing to have someone with such a positive outlook out here representing our city. Yeah. So I appreciate you for coming, sitting down, talk to me. Thank you for having me. I'm proud of being here with you. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs>